Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Yes, I am trying something new. I'm thinking about offering an introduction to medical terminology right here on this YouTube channel. If you would, please continue to watch this presentation I put together and at the end we'll discuss whether or not we think this avenue could work. This is Unit 1. It's the history of medical terminology is where I'm going to start. And as you can see here, medical terminology is known as the language of medicine. Most medical terms are composed of both Greek and Latin word parts. The four word parts for medical terminology are prefix, which comes at the beginning of a word, modifies the meaning of that word. Suffix comes at the end and modifies the meaning of the word. The word root is the core word. It is the meat. Every term has a word root. And then your combining vowel. It's used to ease pronunciation. Now how do we analyze medical terms? When you analyze or break a medical term up, always start with the suffix, which we said comes at the end, and then the prefix, which comes at the beginning, and then the word root. But please remember, not all medical terms have a prefix or a suffix. So when building medical terms, a combining form, remember, is used. And a, a combining form is a root word with a vowel. It's usually an O, and it looks like this. So see how I have Arthur, which means joint. I've got a slash, and then I have O. So I have a note here that says the word root, Arthur, has a vowel attached to it with a slash and then the vowel. So in summation, when we put this unit together, for example, if I use the word re-player, re is the prefix, comes at the beginning, modifies the meaning. ER comes at the end, modifies the meaning. And play is your core word. So see how we've made up the word replayer, we've broken it down. And ER, if I told you ER means pertaining to, re means to do again and play, pertaining to, doing it again, play. But no combining vowel is used in this word because the suffix begins with a vowel, the prefix ends in a vowel, and this will make better sense as we progress in the course. Summation, the goal of this unit is to introduce you to medical terminology, study the four word parts and their meaning, and you will be ready to proceed to the next unit. So my question, guys, is can we do this on this YouTube channel? If you will, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe one. And secondly, tell me yes or no. Thanks, guys, in the comment section below. Thanks, guys.